The straightest line isn't always the shortest way from A to B. This old saying will prove true in the adventure that follows. Everything seems quiet in Opera City. That's where Pierre, the expert maze detective, lives. But beware of appearances, beware of still waters and crackling fire, because at this precise moment, his friend Carmen rocks up in trouble. Pierre, Pierre, somebody stole the stone, Pierre, she says. The maze stone. Mr. X is the one behind it. I just came from the museum. He replaced the stone with a letter for you. Dear worthless detective, I now have the stone, the one that turns everything into mazes. I challenge you to get it back. Are you up to it? Signed, Mr. X. P.S. Ah, 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 ah. With not a minute to lose, they race to the museum. It's total chaos inside.
Pierre and Carmen, confront Mr. X. The stone is within reach, but the rat has a trick up his sleeve. On his signal, a horde of monkeys hurtles down the stairs. They're super cute, but angry and out of control. Ugh, oh, what a rascal. What a rotten scumbag. Using the chaos as a distraction, he escapes at the last minute and is lost in the city suburb.
a tiger, Mr. X bounds onto the rooftops. And then, oh, the cad, he planned it all. Mwah-ha! Sometimes my intelligence surprises even me! And he escapes into the skies. Pierre, look, up there! Ha ha ha! Hi, you lot down there! Hi, ants! Hi, slugs! All is not lost, says Carmen. I have a friend who builds flying machines. Her name's Coco. She's an adventurer. She travels all over the world. But her HQ is here, somewhere in the city center. We must find it.
I built these wings based on Leonardo da Vinci's ornithopter plans, says Coco. And here they are, soaring into the sky. Zigzagging between the hot air balloons, our heroes fly in pursuit of the naughty robber. But Mr. X is laughing to himself. He's hatching another nasty plan. <laughs> what do you say to this? Watch and learn! But the brave detective's cunning is unending. And the villain's balloon crashes on the outskirts of the city.
Once again, Pierre is just too late. Mr. X, quick as a hare, plunges into the forest. Abracadabra, shabam, pow, bop, wheeze! Hey, what's up? It stopped working? Yes, here the stone has no effect. Never cast down, Pierre chases the odious baddie into the heart of the magic forest. But he's had a head start. Will our hero manage to get through this mysterious forest?
Mr. X slips into the haunted manor. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ah, ah, I'm so funny. Sebastian, the manor's owner, awakens a little groggy. His solitude is endless, and he's deeply melancholic. And he's overjoyed when he sees Pierre and Carmen enter the gloomy mansion, too. As long as his eagerness for some friends at last doesn't waste their precious time.
Sebastian regretfully lets his new friends leave. His only friends. Outside, a new surprise awaits. Mr. X's henchmen, his horrible minions, are barring the way. They don't look friendly, and they are not friendly. But Carmen isn't worried. Hey, guys, do you like apples? Oh, yes, yum, scrummy, scrunch, scrunch. This diversion gives Pierre time to rush after Mr. X towards the forgotten city, the city that no longer has a name. But time is pressing because the ruffian is already far away.
Swift as a salmon, Mr. X plunges through the waves and waylays his opponents. Landlubbers, mollusks, you'll never catch me! Watch out, Pierre, straight ahead! Our heroes are in a bad way. We're losing it. We're going to capsize. I'm the best. Did you doubt it? I'm incredible! <laughs> Get it? Ink? Octopus? Ah, I'm just too classy. When Pierre and Carmen reach the port, Mr. X has already disappeared into the docks.
Hmm. Hmm. Chase. Mr. X's train races off like a mad horse. Pierre and Carmen keep up despite the pace, the bend, the ravines. But where does the track lead? Where does the line end? In the infamous underground market, the hub of the underworld, where you can also get good deals sometimes. Huh. 
Okay. 
But once again, the Slippery Rogue escapes at the last minute. Go on, guys. These pigeons are yours. <laughs> A wealth of dishonest merchants surround Pierre and Carmen. Determined to sell them trinkets at a high price, they hamper their victorious progress. But with great dexterity, Pierre pulls off a sliding tackle and manages to get free. This time, it's the home stretch. You can guarantee with a foe like Mr. X, the home straight will be more like a home twist.
Ah, 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 chuckles Mr. X. Is he gonna escape with the Maystone? Nope, because leaping like a panther, Pierre snatches the stone from the wretch's hands just before he's able to take off. Blasted detective, you haven't seen the last of me. I'll be back! Hey, Mr. X, this time the game is over. Ah, oh, finally. Thanks to Pierre and Carmen, the Maystone is on its plinth again and can no longer hurt anybody. Joy, intelligence, innocence, and good humor have triumphed over chaos. But for how long?